Hello everyone, I wish you a beautiful Sunday, I wish you a beautiful weekend and you're all welcome back to another video. This video we are going to explain, we are going to talk about the post discard. So you have been going through abuse and then you have reached the discard stage, okay? It's going to depend on so many situations. It can be, of course, you haven't found the closure, okay? You've been discarded. You came back home, and the narcissist is checked out. They're nowhere to be seen. You have run off with somebody else. You're puzzled. You don't know what is happening. You've been taken by surprise, okay? So there can be situation like I've said yesterday in my video yesterday. <coughs> there can be incidents where a victim may sometimes, not always, sometimes have to return, okay? <coughs> Especially for the ones who don't know anything about abuse. So, some of them may sometimes have to go for the hoover because they need clarity. And at the end of the day, during those hoovers, like I said, it is when usually they get the closure because finally they're able to catch to catch up on this uh, madness and they can forever be able to permanently detach from this kind of individuals but there's also a situation whereby as a victim of abuse you feel it in, within your soul that enough is enough okay you've had enough of abuse you've tried all avenues You've tried to do everything in different perspectives, nothing is working. So it is not working, okay? You feel you've had enough of the abuse. Now, what I, what I, what I really need to tell you, first of all, the narcissist, number one, they're not willing to let you go. They will let you go for a week or two, month or two, but those people, they still have it in their minds. You are their source of supply. They are not willing to let you go. Number two, the narcissist is going to be back sometime soon. Sooner or later, they will show up sooner or later, whether you want to believe me or not. I know when you've been discarded by a narcissist, they are going to re-enter your life. They will find a way, they will find an open window to come back. Okay? So that's the reason why they always say, the final discard with the narcissist is done by you. It's not the narcissist that does the discard. It is you, you, who does the discard. So you need to find every last energy in your soul to make sure that you stick with the separation and understand it for what it is and see it for what it is so that you can be able to break free. So you're the one that actually puts the foot forward. And you're like, you're not going back into the abuse and you're going to put some very strong boundaries to cut these guys out of your lives. It's very, very important for your healing as well. I'm doing this video for the people in that position. Number one, a lot of you guys have been asking me these questions about the discard. What happens? How do you prepare for these kind of things? Number one, very, very important. You have got to make a decision. I know, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be hard. It is very difficult to... Um, finally make a decision to quit a relationship after so many years of wasting time it is going to be hard ladies and gentlemen everybody has told you we have talked about this it is going to be difficult it is going to be hard to make a decision but you're going to make a decision to leave and when you're making the decision to leave it does not necessarily mean that you have got everything figured out okay you still have your questions in your heart most likely you haven't even started your healing, you're still mourning the loss and everything. You are going to have to make a decision. If it's your parents, everything starts with a decision. You see, anywhere you want to go or anything you want to do in anything about life, there is always a moment when you have got to decide. Personally, I just woke up one day and I was like, enough is enough. This is something I cannot tolerate. 
It had been going on for years and I'd had enough. So I took a decision. You are going to have to make, first of all, a decision to live. Permanently, okay? Permanently. Even if you don't know if it's going to be permanent, first of all, try to make the decision permanent. The permanent decision to live a narcissist is very, very important, ladies and gentlemen. Number two. You are going to find... So these are kind of like exit, exit strategies that you can use when you're quitting these relationships. Number two. You're going to have to... Call someone. This is somebody who lives in the next town. A very distant town. They're not even close to you in that moment. They know about you, maybe they're your friends or family members, and they sympathize with you. But not all, because there are some of them who are even flying monkeys. So you, do, you don't need to trust everybody. The nurses can have a lot of flying monkeys around you. When you have established that connection, you could be lucky, and that person is willing to take you in. Maybe for a week, maybe for a month, a couple of days. When you have established that place, or sometimes, like I've said before, it could be some place where you are going to call the safe zone. Now, we need to understand this one, because when I'm talking about a safe zone, I am not necessarily talking about a place that is comfortable, okay? The safe zone doesn't have to be always comfortable. I've explained to you guys my journey, post this card, my beginning place in that time, it wasn't comfortable, okay? I had to improvise, I had to sleep in uh, somebody's house, I slept on the floor, but that, is, that was my safe zone in that time, because that's how I knew that I'm going to start this journey of healing, because I knew that healing has to happen, okay? So, could be you, your, it could be who was run off to the countryside, your family, your friends, your relatives, or whatever. That is going to be your safe zone. If you're a person who has run off to a community uh, housing or whatever, uh, what do they call those people? Those, uh, the shelters. It is going to be your safe zone. Again, your safe zone doesn't have to be comfortable. Put that in mind. Remember that. Okay? When you have established a safe zone, you need to gather some resources. Money is very important, yes, I understand. Money is very important. Like me, for, uh, like, like me, I've told you guys, for example, I left without a penny. I left my house with a few belongings. In that time, I did not have any penny. But one thing I knew for sure what, that what, was that it was my time to break free, permanently. What you're really going to do now you're going to close the contact. Okay? You are going to close the contact with that individual. The numbers have got to go. Okay? Their communications, numbers. So if you're a person who hasn't uh, learned this out of blocking these people, because you see, when you're dealing with a narcissist, you're also dealing with a trauma bond. There's a very strong emotional connection with that person. It's not something that you see. It is something that you feel. You feel a very powerful connection between you and them. And for some reason, you are struggling, struggling to let them go. Could have been your wife or friend or husband or whatever. You are going to find the last bit of your energy in your soul to go no contact. So you remove the phone numbers from your phone. Their phone numbers. If they are ex-wives or something, you have to change the name. Me personally, I would advise you to remove that number, first of all, from your phone. And whenever there's some communication regarding children or something like that, okay, they will call you. But whenever you finish the call, remove the number again from the phone. And again, it has, to, it has got to be very minimum contact with that person. You're talking less. Don't tell them about your stories, what food you ate. Don't tell them about where you went to the gym. Don't tell them about what you've been doing for the whole day. No, 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 no. It has got something strictly to do with... The reason as to why you're calling, maybe it's about the children, maybe some finances or whatever, mortgage, can be so many things. But you remove that number 
out of your phone. It is very important, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to help you to establish your healing. Sometimes it may be required for you to block them. So if, you, if you're dealing, for example, with a friend, you don't have any strong ties together. There are no kids involved. There's no finances involved. There, I'm going to recommend you to block them. You have nothing to lose. You do not share anything in common. They are not your husbands or wives. So now in this time, it's even going to be easier for you to block them because there's nothing you've left behind, apart from a very toxic individual. When you have done that, ladies and gentlemen, what are you going to do now? Like I've said, the finances are necessary. So if you're a person who is still figuring out things, maybe you've got some kids around, and you've got to keep on uh, checking out on the kids, of course, which we all have, most of us have got kids with these people. What you really have to do now is to establish where is the money going to come from. It could require you to get back into employment, whereby you are now going to start saving some money that is going to help you to leave that person. And this is, a, this is supposed to be done secretly. So there is supposed to be a secret account that they do not know. Because remember that the, when the narcissist finds out about your financial situation, they are also going to manipulate your finances and they are going to make it very difficult because the narcissist wants you to live with an empty hand. So it could be a job, like I've said. You go out there, look for any job. And in these kind of situations, when we're talking about leaving a narcissist, take any job that is offered to you. It is going to, be, it, it is going to require you to, get, to take any job that is offered to you and put some little resources together. If you have got a rich auntie somewhere, a rich uncle, you may sometimes get some money from them. It could be... A, a loan, a little loan, they could help you with some finances. If you can, me personally, I didn't have in that time. When the money has been established, you now leave, okay? But when you're leaving, like I've said, you leave quietly. So you don't, you don't let them know about your intentions to leave them, okay? So you don't, like I've said, you guys, you do not wake up one morning and you sit down with an assist and you think that you're going to discuss your departure. How you're going to leave them yet that you're going to leave the entanglement it doesn't work like that okay so it can be a time when for example the nurses has gone off on holiday they've gone to see their auntie they've gone to see their uncle they're not in the house for you to be safe to be in a safe situation you have got to make sure the narcissist is out of the vicinity when you're leaving because like i've said when you leave those people and they're around that vicinity they're going to put up a fight and it's going to be very chaotic sometimes it may require you to um to get some what do they call it you know law enforcement if you feel that your life could be threatened or something you could sometimes communicate with the law enforcement you could communicate with your lawyers you could communicate with some people that you know let them know that you're leaving okay but it has got to be done quietly. You never sit down and discuss leaving an assist with them. And on top of that, one thing that I should, uh, I should recommend, very important, do not tell them anything, okay? Don't tell these people, don't go around in their face and tell them that, oh, you know, you discovered their nurses and everything. No, 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 no. Do not mention anything. It's supposed to be your secret. You're supposed to keep it with you. Do not tell anyone. In that moment, it's even important. Do not tell anybody outside of that relationship because you may be talking to the enabling people and the flying monkeys. Again, another thing to remember, very important. These individuals do not want you to heal. They do not want you to go out there and to become your best self. So they do not even expect you to heal. That is, what you, what, that is exactly what you need to know. This is the reason as to why they will always come in and interrupt your healing process. Whenever you're out there, you're going to see them calling, buzzing your phone, you know, SMS, messages, DM, and whatever. They are going to try to disrupt your healing process and put you back in the chaos because that's what they have been used to over the years. So for them, it's like a continuation of something that they have already been doing, okay? So put that in mind that they don't want you to heal. So you are actually going to heal by force. So the resources have been got. You've secured some little finances or maybe sometimes the situation has been out of hand. You may have run off to a shelter or something like that. It is going to be a place that is outside of town. 
you cannot run away from a narcissist and you think that you're just going to move a few meters away from the house or somewhere you know there's a room next door or there's a house on the next street it doesn't work like that when you're living in a narcissist you are supposed to go very far away from those people get as far as you can this one is going to help you because now they will not have anywhere to find you okay it is going to be very very difficult for them to find you and it's going to be very very difficult for them to locate you so they don't know where you are it's very very important because if they know where you are like i've said they will come around and bang your windows they will come around and bang your doors they will come around and cry and do this and try to love bomb you and everything and they're going to disrupt your departure and your healing process as well now very important to understand as well in that time of living the narcissist don't try to jump in a relationship ladies and gentlemen i've emphasized this over and over again you have just left a very toxic relationship you are not ready to date this one the earlier you put it in your mind and you understand this is going to help you to recover very quickly you are not ready to date any person that is that you are going to date in that moment at that particular frequency is either going to be a toxic a toxic person or is either going to be it could be somebody nice but you cannot maintain that relationship because you have been traumatized from the previous relationship so it is very important for you to get first of all out your out of relationships and do not try to date anyone okay some people may sometime have gone into rebounds like i remember back in the days these are some of the mistakes we did i went into a rebound only for me to figure out later on that the rebound was not working because i had not yet gotten over this past relationship so sometimes you're going to end up hurting people unintentionally okay so don't get into relationships spend some time alone sit down with your thoughts mourn if you have to break a plate if you have to throw something on the window whatever roll on the floor if you have to you have got to make sure that now you start releasing this energy out of your body because this energy most of the times the pain that you feel after the discard it is the trauma that is trying to leave your body so do not try to suppress this pain by jumping into a new relationship with anyone because you're going to hurt people very very important ladies and gentlemen the narcissist for the most of you guys who've been wondering what really destroys a narcissist when you have been out doing work on yourself and putting some healing energy on yourself healing work on yourself you're going to start to glow it will take you some months it can take you years but most of the times the glow starts to show up like in a period of about two years maybe between one and two years after leaving a narcissistic individual that is if you have not been able to go back if you have not been hovered the results starts to show it's like two months uh, sorry two years between one and two years of living a narcissistic individual that's when you start to see the results you're going to start getting back your glow because the body now is healing both physically and spiritually you are healing okay internally and externally and spiritually emotionally mentally you are healing you're sort of, you're going to start getting back your glow but when you're doing the healing work on yourself it's also very important ladies and gentlemen please i know empaths a lot of you guys when you're out there what are they doing what about the new supply are they better than me you're on their social medias checking their facebooks and whatever instagrams what are you know the pictures and don't do that do not do that when you're breaking out of a trauma bond ladies and gentlemen do not stalk do not spy do not send anybody to check on them i know it's going to be very painful ladies and gentlemen it is very very extremely painful when you want to know what, what is happening to your ex who are they dating where are they going what are they doing with their lives do not do that train yourself not to spy on them actually me i would give an advice in the first two to three months avoid social media don't go on your instagram posting pictures don't go posting your statuses and everything because most of the most of the times they have got people that are telling them everything and they are still spying on you so it is very important to not post anything during that time because those people they're also watching you okay so don't even stalk them as well don't post anything just go ghost and stay quiet for at least three months if you have got kids with them you can arrange okay probably you can discuss these kind of things that okay so every other week every other two weeks i'm gonna need access to the kids but you have got to you have got to limit this access to you to you have got to make sure that this access is also private okay so don't just show up you know in a car that they know and you're driving to a destination that they know because that's when they will know where to find you and how to get you and how to get to you minimum contact establish the visitation times with the kids and everything when you want to see the kids okay you can talk about those things 
but sometimes the nurses are not even interested in kids so normally when you break up you may see them they may not even check out on the kids for like six months or even sometime up to a year because they're not really bothered about children okay they just had the children to hold you very close to them and you know make it very difficult for you to live so sometimes they may not be engaged with the children don't worry about that it's happened it happens all the time it's a normal situation with nurses people so if you have to meet if it's possible if it's um, mandatory for example child rights and everything like i've said very minimum contact you go in there do not enter the house stay out of the house receive the kids go spend time with the kids or whatever a day or two or three if you can bring them back and drop them off and disappear that's what happens but make sure that in whatever it is you're doing you do not mention to the nurses what you're doing they're going to try to get into your space and ask you how are you what are you doing oh this and this did you do this and did you do that don't mention anything do not say anything those people they need some fuel the lesser you say the better stick it to the kids and that's it okay ladies and gentlemen if you follow the procedures from the people that the, from the people that have been there you're going to recognize your healing fast and again there is no particular limit to the days or months or weeks or whatever or years you can heal but as long as you're doing the work you're moving in the right direction the time is going to come that you're going to start healing and when you continue healing you're going to recognize that now you're breaking out of this trauma bond because there's these emotional hooks you've had with the narcissist so if you stick to these principles they look like very simple principles but these are the things that work you're going to realize that you're healing and the more you heal is the more you start, is the more you're going to start reflecting on how foolish you are to fall for that crop sometimes the healing is even going to make you realize for you being with those individuals you are stooping solo you are stooping solo just to reach their level they were not even on your level in the first place so you were just manipulated into a relationship that you couldn't have accepted if he wasn't lied to manipulated to or whatever you know so you're going to figure out that you never they never deserved you in the first place it was even a mistake for you to get into those relationships and now you're going to start re recovering and discovering your self-worth okay when the narcissist sees you as a healed person that is what is going to crash let me tell you something ladies and gentlemen when you've done some work on yourself and you've been healing your healing is going to crush a narcissist because they never expected you to get away so you're actually the one that got away okay so like i've said there are some other cases where you may have to improvise we may not have all the concrete information to give you guys because when you're dealing with this kind of people they are very unpredictable so you sometimes you never know what to expect in those kind of situations so if your situation seems or sounds a little bit different that is when now you can reach out to us i offer sessions as well you can book a session with me and we can go into your personal situation especially during the healing process step by step until you get to, to exactly where you want to be so let us know what you think about this video in the comment section below you guys know that i do, I do love and appreciate your support you can always donate to support my channel if you want to you may book a session if you want to and until then i will catch you guys in my next one denzel most signing out much love and blessings peace